So guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I sound like a video, like a YouTube guru or whatever. I just am not used to saying that at all. So um, yeah, welcome back to my YouTube channel. <laughs> I feel so cool to say. Um, I've been wanting to do this for so long and I'm so glad that I finally did it. This is not going to be a video like my last two. This is more just like a get to know me. Here we are in my room. I want you guys... <laughs> yeah. I have no idea what I'm trying to say. Um, most of you guys probably came from Instagram, so you don't really know that much about me, I guess, more than just a picture that I post. I cannot wait to show you guys more about me because I'm a total weirdo, whether you guys believe that or not. I'm super weird. I'm really awkward, but that's cool. That's me. So I asked you guys to ask me some questions on my story on Instagram and I'm gonna go through and answer them and I'll include y'all's um, usernames too so you will know that it's your question so first question by Andrew Constable favorite country music singers um, I have loved Luke Combs since the beginning he is so talented and humble love Luke Combs and I really like Morgan Wallen Old Dominion um, I'm trying to think of some, like, I feel like Texas country or, like, old school country is so much better than what they play on the radio these days, but I will still jam out to that and, like, go to country concerts and stuff. Yeah. Um, I need to try to answer these questions quicker because this video is going to end up being, like, an hour. <laughs> Demetrius underscore Knack says, short and well built or tall and skinny? I assume that you're talking about a man. Um, and if so, I'm not really sure how to answer that. I guess somewhere like in between that is if I can if I can pick that. I don't know. Um, ideal height for a man. So like I never have had a thing for short or tall guys. I'd never been like, oh, he has to be like at least six nine, which I feel like that's pretty tall. I don't know. As long as you're taller than me, then. I really am not, it's not that big of a deal to me. Jacob underscore Biviano asks, how important is your relationship to Christ? If you have one, of course. I do have a relationship with Christ. Um, I take my relationship with God very seriously and it's very important to me. I feel like I've gotten really, really close to him over the last year because I've kind of gone through a pretty tough time with my dog passing and um, a rough ending to a relationship. So I had a pretty rough winter that really made me have to reach for him and, and kind of get a lot closer to him. I'm really grateful for that and it's so important to remember how he picks you up in those times when you're really down and not, you know, forget about him when your life is going great. So I try to pray daily and just talk to him. I really would like to start going to church more, but I also don't believe that that makes you any more of a Christian just because you go and sit in church. But that's just my look on it. Some of these questions I'm not even going to read <laughs> for obvious reasons. Let's see. Um, David Salazar 06 says, how tall are you? I am 5'4". D. Latori, D. Latori 97 says, how did you discover your passion for fishing and hunting? So I grew up in a family that was really into the outdoors. We all hunted together. We all fished together. We just did a lot of stuff outdoors. My family has a farm over in Catawba, Virginia. It's in the Blue Ridge Mountains where I grew up. And so I hunted there as a little girl and fished all over. Virginia and the mountain the lakes and the streams there for trout and bass and stuff So that's where like my love for the outdoors really sparked was with my family and I'm super thankful for that And then also we would come down here to the Outer Banks where I live now in vacation ever since I was literally in a stroller so that's how I fell in love with saltwater fishing and my parents actually got married down here a long long time ago so it's like instilled in my soul <laughs> to love both, which is I'm so grateful for because this life, is, I can't imagine it without including 
nature and the outdoors. I lived in a big city up near DC. This is a whole nother story, but um, yeah, I lived up there for a while and I was completely miserable. Like I have to be near the water or mountains to survive. <laughs> Brian underscore 907 says, Cliche one, what type, what kind of guy is your type? Thoughts, what's your thoughts on soccer? No hate to anyone who plays soccer, but I think it's an extremely boring sport <laughs> to watch. Um, I know that a lot of people love soccer, so like don't hate on me for saying that, but it's just not my thing. That and baseball. I do like football. What kind of guy is your type? I really don't think I have a type. I think that what I look for is someone who's genuine. I want to feel like that person is really interested in me for me and not something um, shallow or something that they're trying to gain from me. So an honest, loyal, genuine person is usually what I'm most attracted to. But sometimes um, people are really good at pretending that they're that way uh, when they're not. So. But that's life. Darth underscore dude underscore 200 asks, what age did you start to love to catch fish? Literally since I was in diapers, I have pictures of me with my dad um, holding up fish when I was really, really little. So it's just, I was born with a fishing rod in my hand, <laughs> pretty much. Uh, Morgan Chelsea asks, is your hair color completely natural? Right now, yes it is. Um, I did get highlights probably over a year ago and so I have dyed my hair before like blonde and brown and I just it was not for me like I definitely fit better as a redhead but you know growing up with red hair is not easy like going through school and you get bullied and people because it's different so people like look at you and that's what they see is like oh my gosh she has red hair and then you get called carrot top ginger you get asked, do the curtains match the drapes? Love that one. That's my favorite. So yeah, it was really annoying to deal with that growing up, but now I actually love my hair. I like that it's different. So jdog1551 asks, you can only fish one place ever again, ocean, river, or lake. I would definitely probably say ocean because there are just so many species like you could dabble with that it would probably not get old is quick. Brittany McWaters asks, what video editing programs are you using for your YouTube channel? Right now I'm just using iMovie and it's working pretty well for me. The simpler the better because I am not very good at technology. <laughs> Joshua Simon asks, are your lips real? They're amazing. Well, thank you. Um, yes, my lips are actually real and I don't have a problem with people doing that, like getting lip filler. Roberts over as 76 says, where's the squirrel? So I want to make an entire YouTube video dedicated to Langley, my squirrel. Um, he is doing well. I do not have him here anymore. He is somewhere else, but he's not too far from me. And I plan on going to see him soon, but he is like pretty close to getting released fully into the wild and be a wild squirrel so but yeah Langley a whole video on that will be coming soon because I know so many of you guys were following along on that whole journey where I didn't sleep for probably like two months and I had Elo my puppy at the same time so that was an experience a man on man e man on man says sorry if I just butchered your name um do you work out um, I work out occasionally. I could definitely work out more. And I hate saying that because I know a lot of people like work really hard to stay fit. And I just feel like most of my fitness comes from my lifestyle. Like I'm super active. I'm always outside doing something. I'm always adventuring. My puppy also has literally been a workout my entire time with him. So um, as far as like what I eat though, my diet plan, like I really eat whatever I want, but I do kind of dabble in intermittent fasting. I don't like purposely do it, but 
I find that when I do wait longer periods to eat in the first part of the day, that like I lose a ton of water weight and just feel so much better. So I can make a separate video on kind of like what I eat in a day and my active fitness type stuff if you guys want. So this is another question that I would love to talk about for like 20 minutes, but I'm just going to give you a short answer because I, I really want to make this another video. So Blake on the Lake says, did you go to college? If so, where? Yes, I went to college. I never ended up finishing, but I went to four different universities. So I kind of did like a college tour and it was a lot of fun, but I just could not figure out what I wanted to do. I couldn't find like I knew what my passion was. My passion's always been the environment and animal, but none of the classes I took felt like I was going in the right direction. I decided to take a break and I haven't gone back. I may go back, but we'll see. I'll just tell you guys a quick run through of where I went. I went to Virginia Western a semester, Radford a semester, George Mason for a year, Virginia Tech for like a year and a half, and then back to George Mason. So. Yeah, it was fun. Um, <laughs> Stormy Eve underscore DC4 says, hair products, please. Uh, girl, I definitely want to start making some beauty related videos. And as far as hair products, I have like an entire drawer full of stuff. So it honestly depends like daily what I use on my hair. I feel like I just switch around with stuff, but I will definitely be coming out with some beauty related videos soon. Makeup, hair, my like routinely stuff that I do weekly, um, nightly stuff, monthly stuff. There's like so much. So many people are asking me what got me into fishing and I think I kind of answered that earlier. It's just kind of what I grew up in, but I really, I think it's super cool when I meet somebody who learned to love to fish on their own. Like they weren't raised in it. Because either way, the love for fishing in the outdoors is something that once you feel it, like you, it's, it's something that you can relate to people with. Like it's not something that you have to be born into or, you know, everyone in your family has to do it. Like you can find it on your own. And I just think that's a really cool way to meet people and bond with people and connect on that level. Jmaz876, what turns you on in a man? <laughs> Like I said before, honesty and loyalty. I'm an Aquarius, so like, I would rather hear some stuff that's gonna hurt me or I want to hear the truth. I wanna feel like you're open and honest with me. That's so big to me. I think it's because I've been lied to in the past in my previous relationships that, you know, I guess you could say I have trust issues. I feel like everybody has a little bit of that. This is an easy one. Emoya. Emoya760 says, what color are your eyes? My eyes are green. Sometimes they change blue, um, depending on what I'm wearing or the mood that I'm in. Dylan Finley, I knew somebody would ask this question. People still bring this up. <laughs> is it true LeBron slid into your DM? Yes, it is very true. And honestly, it is, it's been so long since that happened that I can't believe people still ask about it, but I think it's still really funny. <laughs> Made with love by J-Dove, can I please send you a crochet bikini? Um, yes please, I would love a crochet bikini, I would always love a bikini. Um, I'm actually hoping to do another video soon for you guys of like a bikini try on haul, but I want to get all new bikinis for it because why not, I can never have enough bikinis. Patrick Makel, when did you start making lures? So I started making my soft plastics probably close to two years now, maybe like a year and a half. I bought a kit online and I just started pouring them for fun, like a hobby. People on Instagram, you guys saw it and you guys were like, wow, those look really cool. Can I buy some so I started selling some and then a lot of people started asking for them and I was like wow like I should create a website so that's when Little Red Lures was born and I was selling them on my website yeah that's where that started Wilson 17 said have you ever fished for salmon in Alaska actually yes I'm glad you asked um <laughs> I have and it was probably like five years ago. It was a long time ago. We went on a family vacation there and 
I don't even remember what part of Alaska we were in. We kind of stayed in the southern part. We took a bush plane, I guess it is, whatever kind of plane, and like flew over the glaciers and then landed on this lake and drove on in a boat all the way to the back of it where there was like a mountain stream coming out. And all the salmon were kind of stacked up right there. Um, it was the end of the spawn. And all these grizzly bears were, you could hear them roaring. <laughs> on the top of this mountain they were like coming down to feed on these salmon like jumping into the water right by our boat it was so amazing the one thing though that I did not think was very cool was that since the salmon were at the end of their spawn they really weren't eating anything so we were practically like snagging them but canned spams asks what is your favorite food <laughs> um this is a pretty common question and I'm kind of surprised that I don't know the answer to this. Um, I love food. I love food. Like, I eat just about any type of food. I love Italian food, seafood. Um, I can get down with some, like, fried food, but then I also like really healthy food, like vegan stuff, too. My GoPro is about to die. I can see the little battery thing on. So thank you guys for watching this video. I hope that you guys got some of your questions answered, got to know me a little bit more, and I hope it wasn't too boring and I hope I wasn't too awkward. Um, yeah, so thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for my next video. Make sure you're subscribed and like and comment. Tell me what you guys wanna see next and until next time, welcome back to the vlog. <laughs> I don't know.